Okay, uh, one of the interesting things about uh, the walk designer is uh, the fact that uh, all its parameters are animatable and that uh, can give us some really interesting sort of uh, possibilities. So, if I just uh, load the, the old man preset and then what I'm going to do is just go back to editing mode and give myself enough loops so that we go all the way to the end of the animation and what I'm going to do is at the big what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of like kind of uh, set a keyframe for the time just to start him walking at a faster speed and then just going to go to the end somewhere here and set it back to point 6 which was uh, what the default of the preset was and now you will see that as he actually walks he gets to slow down so I'm just going to come to a point where he plants his foot there and then just take that slider all the way uh, so that we actually lock that part of the animation in the preview range and now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the animation and let's get him to sort of to be a little bit more um, alive as it starts. So straighten him up, keyframe here. Uh, to, the, to, to the end of the preview range and then just get him to get them forward and be a bit sort of tired and one again the beginning so I actually didn't set the keyframe in the beginning okay and you can see that as it's so far comes forward it just becomes it becomes droopy and get tired so we can do all, all kind of things here so say for example well, when you actually when you are quite alert your fingers are a little bit more tense so we can come to the finger values and then um, sort of somewhere here keyframe them and then as it becomes to get droopier we can completely relax his fingers down and again you can see how that actually takes effect and also what we can do is we can offset the timing of his head for example so if I come to the head bend and 
so you keyframe it somewhere here so he's still quite alert at this point and then as he start to droop his head actually resisting a little bit so um, you can see that it actually with a walk designer you don't really uh, just um, have a simple kind of possibility of animating a straightforward walk, walk cycles but you can do quite a lot of things to just uh, uh, create performance in, uh, in the walk cycle which is actually a very interesting aspect of uh, this tool uh, thank you for watching and thank you for all the interest that uh, you have shown so far.